Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting topics to go over. We're gonna start though with the upcoming pro show, Spain Pro or M Pro Cup. And uh, as you can see, this is basically your preview right here. All the guys that are doing this show just stepped on the stage and most of them show their legs. Some of them show their upper bodies. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen tomorrow, but based on this, we can make some conclusions, we can get some ideas of who's gonna place where, who's gonna do what, and uh, I have my prediction for this show, I'm gonna go over a couple of athletes, first let's start with the most popular name, it's of course Michal Krizio, he is definitely the favorite to win this show, but I was honestly surprised how much this new guy, this youngster here, well, he probably just out-angled him, I don't wanna say he dwarfed him in the legs department, he definitely stepped much closer to the camera, but he does look very good actually. His name is, if I pronounce it correctly, Juan Pradels, so I think we should remember this guy, because I believe he has a bright future ahead of him, he looks really freaky, and as you can see here, he's absolutely killing Michal Grigio, but once again, he's, uh, he's out-angling him for sure, he's doing that very efficiently. And next to him you can also see Roman Fritz, who already looks like he has a tan on, but really, he, that's just his tan. How did he obtain it? That's questionable, but it's not pro tan, it's not coloring, it's actually his tan. And he looks really big, and I'm never worried about uh, Roman's conditioning, he's always peeled. I can be only worried about his fullness, and right now he looks full. He looks really big, his tan is definitely on as well, his legs are looking massive. We'll see about his upper body, usually he's good from the back, but from the sides and from the front, especially in the poses like uh, side chest and, and front double, he, he's not really looking that great, but you know, we'll see, we'll see tomorrow, I think, I think this might be his absolute best ever, because he looks this big and full, and I believe he is heaviest that he has ever been on stage. Alright, now let's talk about the favorite, Michal Krizo, and I know you guys like to call him Michael Krizo, but that's not how you pronounce his name, there is no such name as Michael in Slovakia, I'm here from Eastern Europe as well, his name is Michal and his last name is not Krizo, it's actually Krizo, but never mind, you can keep calling him Michael Krizo, it sounds uh, more American, it's easier to pronounce, so okay, Michal Krizo, maybe I can actually change it to that, anyways, this is his back right now, and uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna get the idea of his conditioning right now, so basically, what we all saw so far from all of his updates, it really looked like he came in, he definitely brought his bringing the best conditioning that we ever saw of this guy, now, here, he looks really flat, like really, really flat, and it's Friday, now I hope these photos are from yesterday, and that he already started carving up heavily, because he looks really flat, and yeah, it's the angle, sure, but his glutes are looking tiny, almost non-existent, it looks weird, I would have to say, uh, we all know that his glutes are definitely his biggest weakness, not conditioning wise, but just mass, like, compared to his back, compared to his quads, his, like, the rest of his legs, the rest of his lower body, his glutes are definitely super strangely small, and from this angle, I mean, his shoulders are looking crazy massive, his arms as well, his back, which may not be his best body part, also is looking super massive, and his glutes are looking non-existent, I mean, his entire legs are looking smaller, but glutes in particular, so what is this, is it only the angle, is it the flatness, is it just him simply not having uh, super dominant glutes, is he gonna be fine, is he gonna look fine on stage, it's hard to say man, I don't know, here's another photo, it's a little bit different angle, let's say better angle for a lower body, but still, I mean his glutes are looking really really small, like this is looking weird, now, I don't know how much will this affect his placement, like, is there a chance of somebody actually beating him because of this? I don't know, I don't know, but it's pretty possible, actually. Now, I always saw this with Michal, I always saw that his glutes are definitely underdeveloped, his weakest body part. But on stage, it never really looked that horrible, it was never really a standout weak body part, his physique always usually flows well. The problems, the actual problems, were usually his conditioning, his posing, his tanning, 
but the glutes you know in the back that always looks fine so even though these photos are looking super bad i don't know if we should actually be worried about this guy after all, posting these kind of photos, these poses, which aren't his absolute best, I would say take some courage. He also posted one of his best shots, which is side chest, of course, and in this one he looks rather impressive. I mean, those freaking arms and those delts and that chest, and like the way it all flows so well, and you can see the legs, like hamstrings, quads, calves, Everything just looks so good. I mean, he reminds me a lot of Kevin Leveroni. However, I gotta notice that his glutes, again, I know, but his glutes are, again, looking rather underwhelming. In this pose as well, which is not exactly a glute pose, but it's still noticeable. Maybe it's because I noticed it in previous poses and now I'm paying attention to it, but I think it's taking away from his physique. I mean, it shouldn't be a factor in this pose, but I don't know, man, it's like a, like a hole, you know, that part of his physique looks so shallow because of that. I don't know. We'll see how he's going to do on that stage. I still believe he's going to win the show, but as far as the offseason, man, Krizo, please start doing some freaking hip thrusts, you know, kickbacks, Romanian deadlifts deep deep squats and uh, like heavy lunges i mean i love lunges for glutes they always give me the best glute pump and uh, glute soreness the day after i don't know what you guys but like i think he needs to work on those glutes and getting them as massive as possible i know he's not exactly on the best terms with ian valier but i'm sure if he asked him for advice he would tell him how to build up those glutes because ian is known for glutes and uh, chris is definitely lacking in that department so yeah, I think he's gonna get away with his flaw at this show, but at the Mr. Olympia, I think it's gonna be much harder to do that, so, you know, start working on them ASAP. Next, I want to talk about this guy right here. I know you Americans like to call him Peter Clancier, which I understand totally, but really his name is pronounced Petar Clancier. But it doesn't matter, let's call him Peter Clancier. And um, he is my favorite, I mean, not only my favorite to win the show, but I think he might crack the top three. Why do I think so? Well, I am a little bit biased because he's from Croatia, it's like Balkans over here. And uh, like he's definitely, he's arguably one of the best, probably the best bodybuilder uh, of all time from this region over here, along with Milo Sharchev, of course, and Emir Omeragic. He's also from, uh, he's from Montenegro, which is also Balkans. Uh, of course, there is Nasser or somebody, but he's more Egyptian. Uh, anyways, Peter Klancier, Peter Klancier. Do you guys remember 2016 uh, Arnold Classic Europe? I mean, that was a freaking amazing show. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I remember it clearly. In the end, it was between Big Ramy and Dexter Jackson. And somehow, Big Ramy didn't win. I mean, not somehow. Dexter deserved that victory because he was so freaking good. But I believe this was Big Ramy at his absolute best. This and 2015 Arnold Classic Brazil. But I believe this is his absolute best. He was still so fresh and he brought really good conditioning and it's a shame that he didn't win this show but again it was like it was a really close second and I remember clearly he was weighing 146 kilos and Dexter was at 106 so that's a 40 kilo difference that's like 100 pounds difference and Dexter still won because he was so shredded man he was so good. But look at Big Ramy, while he still had a really small waist, while he still had his lats, his triceps, there were no bumps on his glutes or dents in his quads, he still had pretty good calves, forearms, arms overall, everything was just so fresh, so nice, look at his freaking V taper, this cobra back, it was crazy, he looked so good at this show, uh, look at the glutes also, the conditioning, like he was peeled here. This shot too, I mean, look at his back double, I don't think it ever looked this good. I mean, Dexter is not really hitting the pose, he, he probably lost some balance in a second there, uh, it's not really uh, worthy comparing it, but like, it was definitely the top two here that was really close. There is also Sean Roden, who didn't really bring the best conditioning ever. There were also guys like Rolly Winkler, William Bonek. Man, just look at Dexter right here, look at how good he, he actually was. 
don't forget Dexter Jackson, guys. I mean, he was still so good, even in 2016. Even though he won the Olympia in 2008, I mean, eight years later, he was uh, arguably at his best. I mean, he challenged Phil Heath that year. And the Sean, he wasn't really in great condition here, but he still looked great. I mean, Bonek as well. It was such a deep lineup. Once again, Rolly Winkler was in the mix as well. Two years after this at the Mr. Olympia, he placed third right after Phil uh, when Sean Roden won. Also, Victor Martinez, freaking Victor Martinez was here. Even though he was, he nearly won the Olympia 2007 and Dexter won it in 2008, he still, he wasn't really at his best. Like, Dexter was, I mean, Dexter is a vampire. Uh, here you also can see that there was Dallas McCarver at his show, Josh Lenartowitz, Lucas Osladil. What a show, man. I mean, this is not the point of this video, but I gotta show you all these guys, man. I mean, this is just, this was a really freaking good show. And also, this was before the IBB got separated. You can recognize this logo probably in the top left corner. That's the logo of the federation where I compete. Now we got uh, this amateur division, IBB, and MPC became a different federation. IBB Pro League, and you got IBB Elite Pro. So it's all separated now, unfortunately, but back 2016, there were a lot of good European shows, and there aren't that many today. Why am I showing you all this? I'm showing you all this because Peter Klanchir, who is doing this show, the Amro Pro Cup in Spain right now, competed against all these monsters, uh, actually, seven years ago, and no, he did not place that last. He actually managed to beat some guys like Victor Martinez, like Dallas McCarver, and he looked good, like at that point he looked amazing, he just showed up out of nowhere, and I believe he looked better than some guys that he placed below, and uh, I believe he was, I, I really believe at that point that he was on the rise to become one of the superstars, to become one of the top Olympians, however some things happened to him, and he went vegan for a couple of years, uh, he actually um, adopted a couple of children, and so he kind of stopped bodybuilding for, for some time. Last year, he came back, he didn't look that good, he did place top 3 in some pro shows, but I believe this year, right now, is gonna be his year, he looks like he's bringing his absolute best. He tore a bicep last year, I believe he tore another one, the other one, like 5 years ago, 6 years ago, whenever uh, he stopped uh, competing, and I thought after this second tear, I thought he was done, I kind of gave up on him, but he came back and he looks better than ever. There are a couple of problems with Petter uh, all these years that I noticed, like it was the length of his torso, it's a little bit too long, uh, his back is kind of a little bit shallow, and his conditioning was never really top-notch. But this time around, I think he's bringing crazy conditioning, look at this, look at this video, man. I, I think he looks super flat, but also with his mass, he can't even really look flat. I think this is his version of flat. Once he carbs up, once he dehydrates even more, I mean, he's gonna look super incredible. Like, right now, he looks amazing. I don't know if he should actually play and, and change anything. He looks amazing right now, but I can see that he's a little bit flat. So I'm guessing he's gonna get a little bit fuller. And maybe he over-dieted a little. I don't know, we'll see how he's gonna look on stage, but I think this is his, his best conditioning of all time. I hope he improved his back. And uh, yeah, I'm predicting this guy to be top three. I'd say Michal Krizo, Andrea Presti, and then uh, Petr Kluncher. There is also Amir Omiragic, he's also from Balkans, but I can't really predict anything about him because I didn't see any updates. However, he is more consistent with conditioning, and uh, he has a com more complete back and overall more complete structure. So, I before I saw this video of Petr, I thought Amir is gonna place higher, but now after seeing this, this freakiness right here, this 3D, this density, the size of the freaking arms and just the overall freak factor, yeah, I have Petter in my top three, but whatever you guys think, you can let me know down below in the comment section. Oh yeah, we also got an update of Hunter Labrada uh, in the front double and uh, back transition, whatever. And like, after seeing those uh, photos, those videos from his guest posing, everybody is going wild about Hunter, saying that he made some kind of crazy progress. Now, I do see some progress, perhaps, a little bit. But is he gonna be like a completely different bodybuilder this year? I don't see that. I think he's overhyped for some reason. I think that guest posing had a really good lighting. He probably dehydrated himself to do that guest posing to look really good. 
uh, for this stage of the prep he is looking very impressive but do i see some kind of crazy improvements i mean i don't really see them right here like what did he improve that much i mean he definitely learned how to pose his back better which is gonna be a plus but like did he i don't know grow his arms his legs his chest his lats whatever i don't know i don't really see any drastic changes i mean he's doing everything right this year he's eating whole food uh, i think he's more driven than before he has something to prove so he's probably more motivated so i'm i am expecting this year to be he, better year than the year before but like am i seeing some crazy improvements in his physique physically not really i don't see any crazy changes if you guys see anything crazy change about his physique you can point it out you can tell me down below in the comment section but personally i don't see any i don't see what all the hype is about however whatever you guys think you can tell me down below in the comment section once again if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you guys want to support me if you enjoy my content you want to show me some love some support all you can do is try any of the old school lab supplements i promise you guys they are all super high quality you can't really make a mistake but if you don't like it you can get your money back actually so the link is down below in the comment section and the important thing is to use my code divan i know a lot of you guys are buying the supplements but you're using different codes once again if you want to show me some love some support you want to keep me making all this awesome content for you guys now you know how you can support me in doing that the link is down below once again use the code even you also get a 15 percent discount so we both win if you can do that just make sure to leave the like and a comment and subscribe to this channel thank you guys so much for watching all the best and bye bye